And now I'm going to show you how to take advantage of that port of the Blaze DS for Android, which we at Farada call Clear DS, stands for Clear Data Services. In this case, uh, the Eclipse that I'm running on has been installed with the, Ecl with the Eclipse plugin, Clear DS plugin by Farada, and also by Android, Google Android plugin for Eclipse, and my workspace is pointing to Android SDK. Because of the Clear DS plugin, when I go to the new other project, I'm seeing the Clear DS project. I'm going to create that project. I will call it uh, Clear DS APP, and uh, the package name will be Clear Android Samples, and the activities will be located in the sub package activities. For those who did an Android development with Eclipse, uh, these steps uh, resemble the normal Android plugin. Except that when I click Finish, I will have two projects created by the plugin, Clear DS plugin, instead of one. And this is the relationship between these two projects. Uh, you keep your source uh, sources for Flex in the Flex project, you keep your sources for Java in the Java project. That's pretty understandable. The Flex project will be making Swift as part of the Java project. That is, Assets folder of the Java will be accumulating Swift, which is clean built by the Flex project. The builder is running in the background here. The builder is located in the build folder of the Flex project. And whenever that build script is done, the Swift will appear in the Assets folder of the Java application. Then you can deploy this new Swift and everything that you would put in the Java as part of the run as and that will be deployment on your device. You can also export APK directly from Java project, Java Android project. So now we will show you how to bring up the native Toast notification by remoting it to it uh, to the Java code from uh, Flex Air code. First things first, how do we put Java services in this uh, combined Air slash Blaze DS application under Android? We register them under the WebINF Flex remote you can take and the uh, project wizard pre registers one destination. You can change it. You can have many. Uh, we call it Android Java destination and the uh, placeholder class, which we already created for you is called uh, clear Android sample services remote object. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add one more method here, which will be called uh, show toast. The parameter will be uh, the um, text of the toast. And uh, instead of torturing you uh, with the uh, write-up of how to do the toast, I will uh, resort to a help file that we put under the help for systems.com as you can see here. Because uh, in, in uh, addition to the port of the clear DS, uh, Blaze DS, we created extra class which is called Android API Bridge. This class resolves actually two issues that you're going to meet while developing for Android. Uh, one of them is that you need to be able to run certain code on the UI thread, such as show, make test by toast, whereas normally uh, the uh, remote object you remote to is run by the servlet thread. And to overcome this problem, we give you the method execute foreground task to which you can plug any runnable. In this case, I'm going to bring this code completely into my uh, show toast. I'm going to make all the uh, required imports. And I'm going also to mimic the native language, quote unquote, method execute program task here. So my Java is done. Let me focus on the Java so that you see the complete code here. Okay, Java is done. I can now remote to that show toast from the flex. To that end, I'm opening the uh, default view that we pre-generated during the project wizard 
and the home view will have nothing in it i'm going to add a button a service the button will invoke the services method so here i'm putting myself the remote object instead of going with the uh, adobe remote object i'll go with the uh, Farad remote object that will take me let me take advantage of the Android API breach completely. So uh, remote object and I'll give the name service and the destination is Android Java destination. Okay, let me correct spelling. Android Android Java destination. Okay, now to the button. The label of that button will be show toast. And the click method of that button will invoke the service method show toast. Passing it hi Android. And now we are ready to clean. The clean of the flex will update the SWF. We are watching it here. And now that the build had been complete, I'm clicking on the Java project and saying run as Android application, at which point my device, which you see uh, the screencast of my device surrounds the area of the workspace window. I'm switching to that screencast now and uh, I cannot click with my mouse. I will go with my finger and click on the tablet. You will see here is high Android toes. You will see more compelling reasons for using embedded clear data services if while going through the same new clear data service project wizard, you will elect the project from existing sample. In this case, when you click on the finish, the plugin will create for you two projects, voice recognition flex and voice recognition Java. Skipping the intermediate steps, I will show you the results of the deployment And here I'm going to show only one example, that is the voice recognition. I'm touching on the voice recognition button on my device. And uh, the hand-free form appears where a touch on the field will cause the text-to-speech reading the flex tip via the Android text-to-speech engine. Then I'm supposed to respond with my voice and uh, voice recognition will uh, recognize the voice and return the array of text back to flex. That's all through Flex to ClearDS, BlazeDS remoting. Employee name. Victor. The certain delay between my voice and how it appears on the screencast is because of the screencast is not instantaneous. Salary field goes next. Annual salary. 25,000. Now the, again the delay. 25,000. The most complex is date of birth. Date of birth. February 13, 1995. We have remoted to BlazeDS embedded within the same APK. That was all rolled out by the ClearDS plugin. So if you want to take advantage of that, you have to download ClearDS plugin and then you'll be able to make your applications air talking to BlazeDS all contained within one APK and you'll be able to deploy it on your devices.